Thank you very much, uh, I'm very pleased to be here to uh, support uh, uh, Gary's, uh, my position as the Member of Parliament for Edinburgh Southgate. And to, you may think it maybe is uh, natural to start, I'd ask to support uh, Gary and, and to do it as a Member of Parliament. Um, but um, what um, is uh, compelling is not just uh, my support as a Member of Parliament, but uh, support from throughout the uh, House of Commons. Uh, an early motion which um, uh, calls uh, for proper justice uh, for Gary, for, for justice in terms of uh, not to be extradited, but if he was to be extradited, to be repatriated once uh, a sentence was served, was, was imposed. That has attracted widespread support throughout the House of Commons to illustrate that this isn't a, a wholly part of fiscal issue, this is an issue fundamentally of justice. And the support I've also uh, received from constituents and further afield uh, just uh, shows to me and highlights how um, many have said that uh, what we're dealing with is uh, an imbalance, an imbalance in extradition laws in which uh, Gary is uh, a victim and a vulnerable victim as we um, heard today to remind you of with uh, this condition of Asperger's syndrome. And what has struck me in terms of uh, the concerns I've received from, from many people is um, they're concerned. It's not just a, an issue of uh, uh, wanting to beat up the United States, wanting to uh, uh, blame the United States. The, the concern I have, primarily as a member of Parliament, is with Parliament and with the, the government uh, for uh, passing a, a one-sided and balanced uh, extradition act, which has led to our traditions of justice in many ways being introduced. We have very little say, very little rights, very little opportunity or checks and balance to be able to deal with cases uh, such as Gary, in order to be able to primarily look at justice being uh, done and being seen to be done in this country in relation to Gary's uh, case. So I'm wholehearted behind uh, the call for the DPP to uh, uh, commence properly a prosecution in relation to Gary, so that uh, my constituents and the country can see justice properly done in this country. There is no the opportunity in this parliamentary session with the Police and Crime Bill for uh, revision and amendment to the Extradition Act. And within that, uh, there is provision to consider particularly repatriation after sentencing served. And certainly, <coughs> uh, I'm committed uh, and other colleagues to uh, uh, look at uh, that uh, opportunity to ensure that uh, there are changes to take up uh, uh, what uh, uh, James Welsh says in terms of the <coughs> effect in the current legislation, where we don't, and uh, courts don't have the opportunity to be able to choose the forum and to be able to say, yes, this country wants justice uh, to be done. But um, sadly, that uh, uh, passage of that uh, police and crime bill will be too late uh, for Gary, and so action needs to be taken now, action by the Home Secretary to, uh, uh, to respect uh, our proper traditions of justice in this country, and to ensure that uh, Gary isn't extradited, that uh, he is uh, properly seen, that justice to be properly done in this country. And so I've called on her to take action, and also uh, the DPP. Early in his uh, time as DPP, he can show early on uh, so that he shows proper respect for our traditions of justice and let justice be done for Gary. Thank you.